Hey guys, while I don't hit the former Kaduna governor, Governor Erufai, as APC leadership under pressure to move against him over his visit to SDP. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The National Leadership of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has come under pressure to move against the former Kaduna State Governor, Nasser Erufai, over alleged anti-party activity. This followed Erufai's visit to the national headquarters of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Abuja on Thursday, where he alleged sought to uh, recruit the party into a mega platform. According to sources close to the SDP headquarters, Erufai allegedly plans to lead an emerging mega platform that would waste power from President Bola Tinubu in 2027. In a video recording of the meeting, Erufai was heard saying, You can post it, I don't care. When someone was conscient against sharing the video on social media platform X, Okay, formally Twitter. Some APC leaders in the North are, however, worried that Erufai visit and pronouncement during the meeting at the SDP headquarters constitute anti-party activity for which he ought to be severely punished. They have therefore called on the national chairman of the party, Alaji Umar Ganjudi, to immediately convoke a meeting of the national leadership of the APC to decide Erufai's fate before it is too late. Speaking in a statement in Abuja, Dr. Farouk Ahmed, the chairman of Asiweju Support Group NOT, said Erufai's visit to SDP is an open confirmation of rumors that he was working clandestinely against APC and President Tinubu. According to him, APC must rise and take decisive action on Erufai so that he does not spread a virus that would tear the party apart like he did against the People's Democratic Party PDP under Good Luck Jonathan. We have seen the reports of his visit to SDP and through our intelligence network have also established his mission. We understand that he is forming a mega party and is recruiting other small political parties to join him. But we won't allow that to happen. That is why we are calling on our national chairman to immediately call a meeting of the national leadership of the APC to take decisive action on him before he destroys our party. You will record that this was how he started immediately uh, Jonathan refused to pick him as his vice president and choose Governor uh, Namdi Sambo instead. If you still remember what happened, he had visited Jonathan and lobbied to, to be his vice president. After that, he started saying good things about Jonathan and praising him. When Namdi, Namadi, okay, please, Namadi Sambo emerged, as a vice president, he turned against Jonathan and started to undermine him, and he eventually joined APC. Now we see him doing exactly the same because President Tinubu did not make him a minister. APC must step in and take proper action so that what happened before does not repeat itself. You heard him in the video say, I don't care. That means he knows what he is up to and the consequences it is uh, it is that consequences it is that consequences that we know what the apc leadership to add on dr ahmed said meanwhile erufai spokesman uh moyua ade ade K had denied any plans by his principal to decamp the apc or work against the party in 2027 saying insinuations towards that are uh, effect of uh, obsession with polit politics. 
He said Erufai only returned the a fatal visit by the SDP national chairman Alaji Shewumu Musa Gamba, adding that there was nothing of politics in the meeting. I consider the most recent speculations about Mala Nasa Erufai as a reflecting an unhealthy obsession with politics. People have personal histories and relationship that predate political affiliations. It cannot be a hallmark, a hallmark of civilization to have friends from within only your political party when people visit each other or mingle across party lines. It is because human relationships exist. Distant from the political or the partisan, he said. This is not supposed to be to be issue because it is politics. And besides, yes, on Wike, the current minister of FCT, did more than that, and no party no party leader punished him for his actions. All I want on my own, all I want uh, on my own is better. Nigeria, whatever it might come from okay wherever it might come from be it from Igbo, yoruba or Hausa, or any tribe in this country that may be our messiah that is fire on the mountain or should i say london bridge is falling down falling down falling down london bridge is falling down my dear lady Una never begin to see anything if truly mala nasa is planning to form a mega party no one can stop him, not even the president. The Northerners will glad, gladly join the mega movement. And I can assure you, Mala will succeed. Hmm. Okay, guys, these are some reactions from Nigerians. What's your take on this? I beg, make we hear from you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Thank you.